going on, everybody? It is still Saturday night. Um, we did just do the Don Russ box um, that most of you will watch eventually. Um, we've had three of these sitting on the shelf. Um, managed to find two of these at a Meyer recently over in Anderson, Indiana. Um, these have been out for a while. Mosaic Basketball Mega Box. Um, the other one I think we got at Walmart in Southern Indiana. So go ahead and rip into one of these and just see what it's all about. I know in the uh, mega box that you have from Walmart, you're gonna have 80 cards per box. You can pull Genesis, Genesis, that's a mouthful. Uh, Genesis, Genesis, whatever you call it. <laughs> you can pull the Genesis, you can pull, um, what is the other one? Uh, you can pull the uh, autos. You can pull... I don't think you can pull, like, uh, honeycombs or anything like that. I think that was exclusive to football. So 80 cards per box. I've got my assistant here um, to help me open these. Go ahead and add some commentary as we go along. Um, she likes shiny cards. She likes basketball. So I figured why not. Let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. I also like autos and die cuts. All the expensive stuff. So in this pack, you're gonna find usually some uh, pink. Uh, that's probably off camera. Anthony Edwards rookie. Anthony Edwards, uh, that's rookie base. That's not a bad one. Let's try that one. Let's hope this is good back. So Boban. Boban Marjanovic. And Elevate Christian Wood. I didn't even know Christian Wood was in the Elevate set. Um, it's funny. That guy was that guy was originally on the box uh, before the box were good. And they traded him to, I think, they traded him to Detroit. I don't know who they got back in return. And, I don't think that was the Chris Middleton trade, but anyway, they, they kind of gave up on him pretty early, and unfortunately, looks like uh, he was actually much better than uh, I can't say his name. Onyeka Okonglu, Devin Vassell, Sam Merrill, rookie. Sam Merrill, rookie. Um, the... Ooh, a Lamella Ball. Oh, rookie. a Lamella Ball Silver? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That, baby. Okay. All right. That is a darn good pull. That's a kaboom. That should have been you. Your your reaction was not as good as uh, mine was. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I don't know what these are going for now. But usually, any silver of one of the better rookies is is a pretty big hit. Um, that's probably the best card we're gonna pull in this box. Uh, so it's all sort of downhill from here. <laughs> this box definitely paid for itself. Um, so I don't, I don't know what the comps are on that. Go ahead and look that up. Um, Zion Williamson, Kevin Durant, Kyle, Paul Reed, rookie, Jason Tatum. And a Robin Lopez and a Magic Johnson Hall of Fame. What is this one called? He's distracted now from the Lamello. Don't blame him. I have to see what these are going for. I'm just very curious. Um, It's probably, let's find the right image here. In a raw condition, it's probably $65. As a 9 is 65 and as a 10 it's probably, uh, probably 200 if it was a 10. Oh, wow. Sam Merrill, OB Topin, rookie, Kaylin Horton Tucker. Ooh, and a Giannis. 
for me, Giannis. Silver mosaic. Nice. For the PC. Very nice, very nice. Giannis is a, is a hard guy not to like, right? So. We're also originally from Milwaukee, so. Always a Bucks fan. Base Giannis, Lonzo Ball, Victor Oladipo, a Jaden McDaniels rookie, Allen Iverson, Obi Tobin, rookie, and an Elevate Carl Anthony Towns. So she did her half the box, so I'm going to take over and do the second half of the box. She pulled all the good cards, so I'm going to pull nothing. I will spare her the time of opening cards for no good reason, and I'm just going to go ahead and do it. All right, we have five packs left. We have 40 cards. Go ahead and rip into this. Haven't done much mosaic retail, to be honest. Um, after doing a couple of blaster boxes um, and some hanger boxes and realizing how much of this they printed, I just felt like not really opening much of it at all. So I kind of almost stopped buying it. Um, got a Tyrese Maxey on the National Pride and a um, Spencer Dinwiddie on the Blue Reactive and Jimmy Butler will to win. Okay. Next pack. I'm surprised that uh, Lamella Ball Silver doesn't go for more. Um, it is what it is. All right. So Devin Booker. Devin Booker's a good vet. Anthony Davis. Kevin Durant on the MVPs. Any MVPs card's pretty good one. Cole Anthony on the rookie debut. Lou Williams. Zion Williamson on the green. That's not a bad one, right? Not bad. Zion needs to come back and play, to be honest. Him not playing is probably hurting a lot of people's card values right now just because he brought so much attention to the card hobby. Everybody was like, oh, Zion Williamson, he's the next LeBron James. It's kind of the same thing that you have right now with like Wander Franco, right? So Wander Franco, you go to, you know, obviously Topps is printing way more uh, of the product now that, uh, you know, they are uh, recognizing uh, Wander's value and at the same time sort of the increased uh, interest in the hobby. But when it comes to the Zion uh, rookie year, that brought a lot of people into the hobby and, and, and it was great. Uh, that's sort of what you need in, in the long run to, to kind of sustain the values of, of many cards that that people end up buying and keeping for PC purposes or buying as investments. But when Zion's not playing, it it just makes all of the rest of of everybody else, I think, in my own opinion, a little bit less likely to to buy anything just because there, there might be less eyeballs. Obi Toppin, rookie base, Tony Parker. We got a rookie, Jaden. Oh, it's the wrong, the wrong Timberwolf on the blue reactive. And Dominic Wilkins on the big head card. We have a lot of those. All right, so Jaden McDaniels on the blue reactive. Um, I think he ended up getting hurt during the season. Didn't play much in the second half of the year. But um, as I was saying, the, um, the Zion situation, if Zion comes back and plays next year and he's good, it's going to bring a lot of those eyeballs back to the hobby. Many people just kind of like sit on the sidelines and don't do a whole lot unless, uh, unless people are uh, worth chasing, right? So if, if Wander Franco sucked, let's say, and he um, definitely could suck, I don't think he will. Uh, Tyrese Maxey there on the debut, Donovan Mitchell on the blue reactive, and a bang of, who's that? Dwayne Wade, okay. Huh. Uh, so we got one pack to go. Um, go ahead and sleeve some of these up. The, um, the hobby, I think, if Wander played well 
and if Zion played well and they sell well, it will bring even more eyeballs and, and more attention to the hobby. And that'll just help all cards across the board. If many of these guys that end up being chase guys don't pan out, everybody says, ah, eh, it doesn't really matter. I think it does, to be honest, because people are sort of vest invested, you know, whether they're invested heavily in base cards or whether they're invested heavily in sealed product, uh, what brought them to the hobby was the chance, right? The chance at something great. And when they don't see that pan out, it, it, it sort of is disappointing. And to be honest, that can, that can drive a lot of people away. And they can say, why, why am I bothering? Uh, because many of these hype players don't end up turning out. And that certainly could happen. Peyton Pritchard. Steph Curry. See how excited I get for a Curry card? Duncan Robinson is our last silver. Okay, so. Oh, wait, was that a Giannis? It was a C, it was a wrong Anna Kumpo. Oh, it was his brother. Duncan Rob, that card is extremely bowed. PSA is going to have to invent a new cr uh, criteria when it comes to grading. It's going to be card flatness. Uh, I'm just kidding. That actually probably won't happen, but it should happen because, to be honest, some of these cards, when they're bowed, I know how this card stock comes out. It sort of comes out in a roll, and then it gets put on a sheet, right? It's a, it's a layer, and the thickness of this layer, sort of, it's sort of like aluminum foil, right? So as this stuff is sitting on the card, the aluminum foil, when it was sitting you know, in a, in a roll, you're pressing it onto the card, whether you're, you know, I don't know how they're doing it, whether they're pressing it, bonding it, um, using some kind of a, a heat transfer or something like that. But anyway, whatever they're doing, the, the likelihood that that card's gonna sort of take to its original shape is going to happen. It's, it's bound to happen just because of the, the way it came off the card stock. So the closer they get to the inner part of the roll, uh, the, the more likely this card is to be bowed. So in cases like this with the silver, that's probably why. So anyway, enough rambling. Let me go ahead and do a quick recap of some of the hits. Go ahead and pull what we have. Not a whole lot to go through, but nevertheless, I'm putting these in a, probably the bad order. But anyway, here's our big hits. We got Steph Curry on the National Pride. That's just big for us. Uh, Jada McDaniels on the on the Blue Reactive, Anthony Edwards Base, Obi Toppin on the Blue Reactive NBA debut, Giannis on the uh, Silver Mosaic Prism, and then the hit of the box, Lamelo Ball Silver. Not a variation, but it is the 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 Silver Base. Uh, pretty cool card and bunch of other inserts and, and rookies, as you can see here. No Genesis's Genesis, whatever in this box, uh, but that didn't really matter because we got a Lamella Ball Silver. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you next time.